So this is the real estate happy hour house hunters version this is the real world um showing day of a real estate agent in upstate new york i don't know what it's like in new york city i've never worked there chicago la upstate new york mostly suburban mostly rural even the people that think they live in the hood or the city of this area compared to brooklyn or the bronx or uh, la or compton this is still suburban um, smaller towns, smaller cities, et cetera, et cetera. I'm going to show you what a day in the life is like doing showings here and um, get to it. So I'm all dressed. I'm ready to go. I wear, uh, you know, I wear jeans. I like to be comfortable, buttoned down. Sometimes I wear a polo. Sometimes I wear, you know, a shirt, like a T-shirt with a dress shirt over it. But I never get too dressed up. I know in all the HCTV shows, you see people in suits and ties, women decked out in jewelry and stuff like that. Some agents in our area do dress like that. I like to be comfortable. I'm going into dirty houses. I'm in and out of my car. I have split pants before. I've ruined suits. And none of my customers are showing up like that. And I like to relate to the people. I'm a man of the people. All right. So I like to look like them, dress like them, and I'm more relatable. I, I go to listing appointments like that. I know some people get dressed up for a listing appointment. And there's going to be a small percentage of people out there who will judge you because you don't have on a suit and tie, white shirt hair done, salon made up. Nope, that's not me. I am who I am. I've been very successful with it. I get a large base of customers just being me and being comfortable. So what you see is what you get. The same guy on video, that's the guy you're going to get in life. If I'm not for you, that's okay. There's a lot of real estate agents in the world. Do you, all right? So what I'm doing right now is I'm pulling, in, pulling up my MLS sheets uh, because I'm going more rural. I'm heading all the way out into uh, the country. Sometimes there's no phone signal. I usually can work off my iPad or my iPhone. If someone asks me an intricate question about the house that I'm not very familiar with, sometimes it's easier for us to basically pull it up in our phones. Or, but when you don't have a phone signal, you look, you look really stupid and embarrassed. So I just like to pull up the sheet and get prepared to print this and carry it with me so I have it. So I got about six showings today out in these rural areas, and I'll be all prepared. So I got all my MLS sheets and what you do is I throw them in my portfolio. Like I said, so you always want to have a portfolio. You don't need a briefcase or man purse or anything like business cards, battery pack, because you all, you never know out there. You run short of battery, your charger don't work. You want to have a fully charged battery pack. Um, like I said, business cards, because when you meet new clients, you want to make sure that you are able to give them a card. So you say who you are. They don't know. Sometimes they've met you for the first time and also a notepad to take notes. Notice the things they like and do like, and you're gonna ask them a couple questions about the houses you've just seen. So pretty much your portfolio is ready to go. You wanna keep anything else in there like chewing gum or you know, whatever you need. But again, you don't need a bag, at least not a man. We don't need all that. So we're, you know, we're ready to go. Premium mortgage pretty much gave me this, all right? Make sure you use your GPS. You'll always be on time and you won't get lost worrying about where you're going. I'm at the first location in Hoosick Falls. Nice little town, village, whatever you call it. I'll be showing this two family here. One of my clients. It is occupied, I think, on the second level. And the first level is empty. And I'm waiting for the actual listing agent to show up and kind of give us a tour. Some of the things I look for in an older home like this um, that I think maybe an FHA loan might have problems with, this current customer is a VA client. 
But I look for, you know, look at that. Not, not that that's a bad thing, but you never know. We look for peeling paint like that. So, you know, sometimes these um, houses can get pretty rough, but that doesn't say that that's a foundation issue, but someone may flag that as being a problem. Okay, you see the peeling paint right there? That could definitely be an issue with the FHA or VA loan. You see some peeling paint up there as well. And then, you see that crack up there? Yeah, that could be a problem, but you never know. All right. They look for stuff like this. You can get a renovation loan of some type, like a FHA 203K. Uh, VA has renovation type uh, loans that you can get to, you know, fix up things like this and make them whole again. So it's not a big thing. You let your client know that as you're talking to, to them and consulting them, and it's not that big of a, a deal. I like that the floors, these look like original floors. Yeah, these are nice floors. And it is radiator heat, which means a boiler. I mean, you're gonna have boilers downstairs. Okay, not, not furnaces. It's a big difference. <laughs> as far I know, well, one is definitely more uh, cost efficient. The furnace is like the You can actually have high efficiency boilers as well. Um, I have a little bit of an HVAC back background sometimes, so we'll figure <laughs> The kitchen is nice, it's spacious. So this is more like an eat in kitchen. Is that two bedrooms or one? One bathroom. One bathroom, okay. Three bedrooms. Three bedrooms. So these are boilers. They are marked. So this set here is number two. So this mm -hmm. will be second floor. This okay. will be the first. All right. So we finished that one showing. Now we're heading to Cambridge, New York, only about 20 minutes away. We're going to see another multifamily with the same client. All right. I'll catch you on the other side of that. Now, look, my engine light came on. That's the, that. Engine lights are the last thing a realtor wants to see when they're on the road. So I'm going to luckily take my car in for all change this week and I'll have them check on that engine light. All right. I'll see you guys in Cambridge. West Main, Cambridge. Yep, two family home. Leakage there. No. Okay. Yeah. Food. Cat food. <laughs> we want the cat food. So they have a washer in here, but not a dryer. Oh, that's on the. I lied. It's a dryer. All right. So I showed the Cambridge house. You guys are gonna laugh, but. Um, I ride around for a reason. You know, my client wants to make an offer. It's a pretty good offer. Uh, hopefully this one goes through. But this is why I tell real estate agents all the time, don't um, worry about the distance you have to travel in order to be showing sometimes because you know what? Ultimately, um, though they turn into money. So yeah, and now this is really gonna shock you. I gotta go a, probably 70 miles to my next showing. Could be like over, well over an hour to get there because there's a lot of back roads, but that's also going to be another contract, 90% sure of it. So this is what we do as real estate agents. We drive a lot, we do a lot of windshield time and we spend money on gas, but it comes back tenfold. Um, so I'm going out to a town called St. Johnsville um, or Oppenheim. It's kind of a combined little town area and both of those are in my territory. It's just that one's on the far end of the other. So typically they would be like 50 minutes to an hour from my house, but I'm actually 50 minutes, you know, like east of my house. And now I gotta go all the way an hour, 50 miles, you know, 50 minutes west of my house. So it's gonna be yeah, quite, a, quite a ride. So let's get ready for it. And let's check the odometer. So not bad so far, 43 miles and still good on gas. And that damn engine light's still on. So one thing about real estate agents is we have to um, P 
pee on the road a lot, so we always stop at a lot of gas stations. Sometimes we eat gas station food, definitely in the pee break, and um, we run in here, grab a snack, you know, grab a Slim Jim or something like that, and uh, get back on the road and start for my long trip. Money-making day, let's go. So a funny thing happened. After I got my, you know, my pee break and my drink, um, I have no phone signal, so <laughs> my GPS wouldn't load my next location. So I'm like 1985 and I'm asking customers, what's the best way to get to Malt Montgomery County and then Fulton County? And I had to ask a girl in the street, she was like, oh, just take 372 and you'll see 29. So hopefully by the time I get to 29, I'll have a phone signal and I can put my address in. Just one of those key things. You need to either have a compass or a kind neighbor that will help you out on your travels. Oh, so this is the life. I'm headed over, I was headed over to, um, where was I going? Oh, St. Johnsville, which was like I said, over an hour and a half from where my last location was. I'm in the middle of my trip there and my buyer calls me, say, hey, I got here early and we looked in the windows and we don't really like this place. So can you just meet me at the next location? So a little wasted time there, but, um, that's the way this life goes. Sometimes you get called in. At least I didn't get all the way there and then have to start over and go to the next location. So this has really saved me like about an hour of my day. So I'm gonna get back, redirect myself, gain my bearings and go to the next location uh, because that first one didn't work out for her. But again, not mad. I'm just glad she caught me at this time. All right, I'll see you guys when I get there. I made it to Central Bridge. This is my last stop of the day. I'm at 119, 120 miles. Gas still good, dab engine light still on, but um, I'm gonna show this house. It's kind of weird. All right, there it is, I'm home. What we got? 161 miles, used almost half a tank of gas. It was a long day, it is 4.15, you know what time I left, nine something, I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> the day wasn't exactly as anticipated. Two showings canceled, not two showings, but two houses that I didn't have to see. So I actually showed three homes, um, two different customers. 161 miles in. So that's the way real estate is. This is a day in the life. Just wanted to show you guys, you never know what to expect. It could be a long day. It could be a short day. It could be a lot of disappointment. I'm going to put in one offer, not two. The second one was a maybe, but we'll see how that works out um, in the aftermath. That second person has a very limited budget. So um, you never can tell. But anyway, the day's done. I'm going to home, chill out, have a drink. I don't know what. We'll see what happens from here. Family time. Peace out.